what's up y'all welcome back to the channel we're bouncing around a creek today down around the southport area i haven't fished this spot in over a year and a half last time i fished it was two winters ago so we'll see whether anything's in here today or not i'm not really for sure where good spots are or not so um water's warm it's up to 81 currently and it's 7 30 in the morning so pretty much i'm just going to start power fishing till i can try to find some baits or not baits but fish and kind of see where they're stacked up at so see if we can get something on all right first thing we're going to start out with as usual a little three and a half inch paddle tail z-man i've hit it up with some inshore saltwater pro cure so um i always believe our water here is really dirty so I know a lot of people don't believe in scent, but I think it helps me for as dirty as what our water is. If you're in clear water, I don't know if it really makes that much of a difference or not, but I do know in our water, it, at least I feel like it helps me. Who knows? Maybe it's the old placebo effect. Fish on, fish on, what do we got? Oh, there we go. Oh, flounder. That is a flounder, all right. Let's see if we can get this fella in the boat. There we go, all right. First fish of the day. All right, see if I can get him unbuttoned, get him the heck out of here. All right, here we go. First flounder, probably, I don't know, 12, 13 inches, something like that. Fairly small guy, but first fish of the morning. I've been seeing a bunch of big reds right along this bank here. I just haven't been able to get one to eat yet, so that's I'm hoping to get one of those guys, but hey, let's go. It's a good start anyway. There we go, there we go, there's a fish. Feels decent. Got some head shakes. Come on, baby, be a trout. Be a trout one time. Nope, oh, another flounder. All right, well, looks like it might be a flounder kind of bite today. At least that's the way it's starting out anyway, so. There you go, buddy. So there you go. And a little bit smaller than the last one, but probably that one's probably around 10 inches, something like that. So nothing, no big doormats or nothing like that, but it's two fish so far.
Fish on, fish on. Oh. What do we got? A very big whatever it is. And a little croaker. All right, Mr. King, this is for you, buddy. Got your favorite little croaker fella. Come on, man, give it up. He hit the little voodoo shrimp. There you go. Small little croaker like that. Um, this guy I'm gonna take home with me. I'm working on another video of how to catch bait without a cast net because I'm not very good at throwing a cast net. And so I'm gonna take this guy home and I'm gonna put him in my bait trap. All right, y'all, we're hooked up. I've had the camera off as fishing's been slow. But we got ourselves a trout. Does not look big enough to keep, of course. But it's fine. Oh, dang, he choked the crap out of that thing. Hold on here, little buddy. Hopefully I don't, can't, I don't want to hurt you. Come on. Where's the heck is the hook at? All right, there we go. Finally. All right. So just nice little trout. Probably 10, 12 inches, something like that. So as always, so we'll have to get them back. Let them get bigger for another day, but Makes for a couple flounder, whatever it was now, two of them and one trout. So let's go. Hopefully something's going to start happening. All right. Big takedown. Big takedown. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Yeah, it's still on there. Yeah. Ooh. I fell out of the kayak. Come on, baby. Be a good one. Be something good. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, come on. Be a redfish one time for me. Be a redfish one time for me. There she goes. Yeah. That's got to be a red. Yep. Oh, crap. It's not a red. It's a shark. Oh, and it's not a little shark. Oh, this sucks. Yep. All right. Let me do this. Let me get this reel in. Oh. Can't believe it hadn't broke me off yet. What the heck? Oh, this is not the fun part of kayak fishing right here. Oh, now he's in the motor. Now he's in the motor. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Oh yeah, I'm screwed. I don't even know what to do here. option pull this motor up and try to unwrap it I guess all right he's out well thought he was the heck does just do
what to do. Don't know what to do. All right, come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. This line and everything back here you go you can see a little bonnet head shark probably two feet something like that definitely not what the heck I wanted to catch all right y'all well that's gonna wrap it up for the day been out here long enough fishing's not very good as I say that there's a giant blue fish just jumps right in front of me um, seen a lot of fish bunch of reds I had seen today but they just was not eating I knew when I came out looking at all the fish apps and how they do their bite scores and all that stuff. Today probably wasn't going to be a real good day, but still at least put a couple flounder in the boat, that trout, and then as you see in that shark, which you never want to catch a shark or a stingray on a, a kayak. And last video in this video, that's what I've got on here. So definitely did not want to get that guy. As you've seen, it was a mess. He was in the trolling motor and just, it was a disaster. But we was able to get them in safely, get them released safely and all that. So that was good. So hopefully everybody's enjoying what I'm doing so far. Um, if you do, please give me a like. I would appreciate a subscri you subscribing to the channel if you would. Um, it's free, so obviously you ain't got to pay to watch me sit out here and do this stuff. But um, until the next one, guys, remember, it's nice to be important, but more important to be nice.